This is the Chemical Kinetics podcast on thermodynamics, where the concept of degrees of freedom will be discussed with relationship to the energy of a molecule. Under the equal partition principle, each energy state is independent of the other. In other words, the energy of a molecule can be divided up into translational, rotational, vibrational, and electronic energies, each with their corresponding uh, dependence on temperature. Under classical mechanics, the heat capacity is basically dependent on the number of degrees of freedom that a molecule has. Each degree of freedom contributes R over 2 to the heat capacity. For monotonic molecules, a molecule with only one atom, there is only three degrees of freedom, the three translational directions. A monotonic molecule is basically a ball. The only energy it can contain is the translational energy. A sphere cannot rotate. No matter how it rotates, it looks like the same, and it cannot vibrate. Just an aside, why is C sub E listed in this table, not C sub E, which is com more commonly used? Remember that under constant volume, there's no PV work, so the change in energy between the two states is purely the internal energy. The same principle can be applied to diatomics. Diatomics have not only a tra translational degree of freedom, they also have additional degrees of freedom. There are two vibrational degrees of freedom of the atoms moving along a line, and there is also two rotational degrees of freedom of the two atoms. As described above, the diatomic molecule has a total of seven degrees of freedom, each contributing R over 2 to the heat capacity. The heat capacity is expected to have a value of 3.5 R. Theoretically, if the diatomics have the full internal energy of the degrees of freedom, they would all have C sub V of 3.5 R. However, as we can see here, the lighter diatomics have considerably less than this value. Why is this? The explanation can be found in how the vibrational states are occupied at different temperatures. For lightweight diatomics, only the lowest vibrational states are filled. This means effectively the number of degrees of freedom is less. This in turn means that the internal energy is less. For heavier compounds, the spacing between the vibrational energies is less, thus they are more readily occupied. This is also why there is a temperature dependence on heat capacity. This table shows two trends. First, as the temperature increases, the internal energy, in this case CCP, increases. This shows that the temp as the temperature increases, more and more vibrational and rotational levels are occupied, giving a higher level of degrees of freedom. Secondly, as the molecule increases complexity, it has more degrees of freedom. This means it has more internal energy to store.